Hi, it's me, Whitney. Um, this is my second video of the day and I did not anticipate making this, but I did a Juvia's Place haul earlier. You may or may not have watched that. If you did, you saw me apply this lipstick. It has been a few hours. So I did that, probably put this lipstick on around 11.15 this morning and it's now 10 till three, I think, or close to it. This has been through a nap and a meal. We got a little bit of smudgy smudge up here, but otherwise you cannot tell that this lipstick has been on for three hours. So, ooh, good stuff. It does transfer just a teeny tiny bit, like not a ton. Like I feel like this would survive a night out. If I went out, I would know for sure. Um, I was not intending to put makeup on today because I just wasn't. But since the lipstick's on and I do have to go out in public, I figure I may as well just a little bit of makeup on around this lipstick because it's already there and it would be more trouble to try to take it off right now than it would be to just slap on a little bit of makeup in order to make the lipstick look better and more reasonable so I'm just slapping on a little bit of foundation real quick that's not the best brush for doing around my eyes I'm doing things wildly in reverse. Just gonna do the whole eye area real quickly with my Moda Glow Brush. I'm not doing anything elaborate. I just want, again, something that's gonna make this lipstick look a little less out of place, which mostly is gonna involve putting on eyebrows because I just think it looks crazy. I've got these light ice eyebrows up top and these dark, dark lips underneath. So, may as well not waste a good lipstick. Oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. I had to look at it again. I don't know why I just kind of stopped what I was doing in the middle there. Um, this is, again, the Juvia's Place. This is just the packaging machine that I live, I love. I've got the I Love, I Love, or I Line, I Define eye kit with a couple of aligners. This is the lip one. Um, it's amazing. I really probably should have put sunscreen on my face before I slapped a bunch of makeup on it. That was just silly. Oh well. Eyeshadow. I really want to get into some of this fancy stuff. Oh, and of course I'm wearing green so I could wear the cool green from the amazing culture palette. Look at those greens, but I don't have time for that because I got to go pick my kids up and take them in public. Um, so I am going to just do just a quick of neutral. Well, it's basically the same eyeshadow I've been doing for like the last five videos. Um, my, I love, love, and I love my love in London palette. It's gonna take a little bit of scone here, which is a nice light brown. And just get that dusted in there. I'm gonna take, uh, so I'm going to do cheeky, this creamy colored shimmer, and just put that on that inner corner. Beautiful. I am going to forego eyeliner today because, honestly, I'm going to have enough of a chore getting this lipstick off. I don't want to play games. Oh, eyeliner. Okay, we can clean that up. I have a hack if you've been, if this is your first time. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'll come back to it. Oh, this is L'Oreal Panorama. I really need to start writing the dang date. I opened my mascara because I cannot remember how long I've been using this. I've been using it for a little bit. But it seems like I should be coming up on it. It's throw me out and start using fresh mascara date. I typically try to Keep it around three months. 
And that's for my everyday mascaras, mascaras that I don't use every day, like my colored Pat McGrath mascaras. I will keep those until they don't work anymore. Um, I use them maybe once a month. Because I don't want to, one, like, over-contaminate them, or two, use them all up because they're so pretty and expensive and I can't afford to replace them with really. So I don't use this as often as I probably could or should, and I'll keep those a lot longer. But my everyday mascara is like this. I tend to swap out every three months or so, and it's easier to keep track of that if you... Put the date on the tube. Imagine that. That I did it again. It's okay. We'll let it dry. just a little teeny tiny amount of makeup makes such a big difference. All right, we're going to slap a little blush key on here. This is my Bare, Miner Bare Minerals <laughs> Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me Blush. This one is called Plum, a little purpley. Come in with my matte poreless powder because it is somewhere. I'm a super fast look today. Okay, now let's deal with these brows. My brow pencil is buried. Got it! Okay. And we're just going to do quick and dirty. Fill them in. Darken them up. See, the lipstick just really works a lot better with a full brow. It is such a gorgeous color. Here we go. Okay. Bit. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. I am going to go in with my clean spoolie when I find it and it's a really sensitive piece of skin. I may have to, yeah, my finger is going to work a little bit better. That's pretty rough on that tender piece of inner eye skin. Okay, we cleaned up all our little funkies. And that's it. I could take my hair down. I do have a couple braids in. It's crazy that this was curled yesterday. Anyways, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Nothing crazy big. Just wanted to kind of even out this face. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, I went to turn my light off instead of stop recording. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.